Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to a brand new video. I'm back. Better than ever. We're talking about some baseball stuff. Today I want to go over the Engine Ryu contract. We are heading into year four of four, meaning Engine Ryu will be a free agent at the end of the year. And I want to kind of go over the contract, that four-year $80 million deal. Was it worth it? Was making the splash on Hinjin Ryu worth it? We're going to deep dive everything. So let's get into it. Going into the 2019 season, the Blue Jays weren't a very good team. They just lost their second straight season. And going into this year, they had nothing going for them. Nowadays, the Toronto Blue Jays are seen as a premier free agent destination. But it wasn't always like that. To see what changed that, we have to go all the way back to the 2019-2020 offseason where the Blue Jays were looking to make a splash, but many people had their doubts. The Jays, have just, the Jays had just finished off their third straight losing season, this one being the worst one at 67-95. The Jays lacked a lot of things, but the rotation was the first concern. Getting a starting pitcher was necessary, and the Jays had plenty of options at the top of that free agent pool with Garrett Cole, Zach Wheeler, and Hinjin Ryu. The Jays had already promoted number one overall prospect, Vladimir Guerrero Jr., and then Kevin Biggio and lastly Bo Bichette. So their three top guns were up at the big league level and they were producing. So the front office was pretty content with the offense and the way it looked. Not to mention the Jays had already shipped off former ace Marcus Stroman to the Mets at that 2019 trade deadline for Anthony Kay and Simeon with Richardson. So the Jays lacked that ace at the front of that rotation. And with top prospect Nate Pearson on the way, recently drafted Alec Manone not far behind Nate Pearson, the Jays needed that ace starting pitcher to mentor the young guns. So the Jays looked towards Hinjin Ryu, and in late December of 2019, the Blue Jays would actually pull the trigger, signing Ryu to that four-year, $80 million deal though, to lead the rotation. A deal that no one saw coming, a deal that everyone thought would be impossible, especially after Toronto had signed Tanner Roark to that two-year, $24 million deal. It was unthinkable that the Blue Jays would go for such a big contract on a guy after a losing season, but Toronto was confident in the squad to go out there and compete every single 2020 they had a different plan in this 2020 COVID shortened season Hinge and Ryu's year started off rough but a start against Atlanta would turn things around and Ryu would finish the year with a 5-2 and record and a 2-6-9 ERA he would help lead Toronto their first postseason appearance since 2016 Ryu also finished third in AL Cy Young voting his second top three Cy Young finish in just two years Going into the 2021 season, Ryu was still the ace of the squad, but other names were starting to make their way up like Robbie Ray. And with regression throughout the year, Hinjin Ryu would finish the, as the third best pitcher in that rotation. Ryu started 31 games and finished with a 4-3-7 ERA. And into the 2022 season, Ryu would start as the number three starting pitcher in that rotation, but he would only make six starts before undergoing Tommy John surgery. Ryu had a 5-6-7 ERA at the time of the injury and has not pinched, pitched a game for Toronto since. Now, heading into the 2023 season, we don't know if Ryu will come back. And if he does, it looks like it'll be in his, what he likes to hope is July or August. And he's going to have to battle to get back into a rotation. Overall, at the end of this deal, as a Jays fan, I am happy with the deal. The numbers don't look great overall, but the numbers do not tell the full story of this Hinjin Ryu deal. Ryu was a pioneer, and he started a new trend for the Blue Jays. He was the first big-name free agent to sign in Toronto since Russell Martin did that in 2014, and the first big name that Shapiro and Atkins would sign. Since Ryu, Jays have landed a big-name player every offseason since. Without Ryu signing and making Toronto seem like a top free agent destination, we might not have seen the likes of George Springer, Kevin Gosman, and Chris Bassett. So as much as those numbers aren't amazing, the trend Ryu started is something that's worth more than that four-year $80 million deal. Ryu put confidence not only in the fan base, but in the squad itself. A squad that had looked horrible going into that season. A squad that everyone predicted would finish way below 500, And he has helped turn this team around. Since, since Ryu signed, Toronto has not finished below 500. They have seen the likes of Alec Manoa emerge as an ace. Robbie Ray pitched with Cy Young. They've seen guys like Kevin Gosman, George Springer, and Chris Bassett say, screw New York. Let, I, I'm going to Toronto. I want to play in Toronto. It put confidence in this front office. 
so much confidence that they were able to go out and just trade away recently acquired top pitching prospect Simeon Woods Richardson and their their number five overall draft pick Austin Martin to Minnesota for Jose Barrios. They would then follow that up with trading for Matt Chapman to man at third base. What Ryu did to this team and to the fan base and to the city, to the country, is going to be worth way more than $80 million at the end of the deal. He started a new wave of Toronto Blue Jay baseball. And if it wasn't for him, who knows what we might be looking at for this team right now. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Comment down below. Subscribe if you guys are brand new. And uh, we're back every day. I got a new video coming at you soon. And um, who knows, maybe we'll do some live streams during the season. I don't know. I'm going to do uh, player predictions as well. Um, season predictions. And I don't know what else. Maybe some pregame stuff. Let's go. So yeah. Peace.